Hey there, this is James Wilson with MTB String Training Systems and BikeJames.com and I'm doing another video on the Turkish Get Up. Turkish Get Up is one of my favorite exercises of all time. Just does so much for you, rep for rep. It's one of the best exercises that you can do. And recently I've uh, learned some more tips and, and things that help you get even more out of this great exercise and so I wanted to share those, uh, some of those things with you and kind of you know, revisit the Turkish Get Up and uh, some of the subtle things that you can do to get a little bit more out of it. And so, uh, you know, just like always, there's seven steps to a Turkish getup. You want to make sure that you own each of those seven steps and that process will lead to the outcome of a good Turkish getup. So you don't want to just look at a video of a Turkish getup and then try and act that out. You want to understand what's going on at each stage of the getup in order to, you know, make you as strong and, and uh, stable as possible in, in each position and that's going to help you move more effectively and more efficiently with this great exercise. So, getting started, what you want to do is get your kettlebell and you're going to do a roll to press to get started. That's the, the first step in, uh, in this process. And so, you're going to roll over on your side, get your kettlebell in tight, and then you're going to roll over on your back. You got it, the kettlebell set with two hands and then get it up with two hands. Get it set. And this is just a safer, more stable way to get into position. And this is one of the big differences. I used to have you bring it up and then like do a floor press. But getting it up with your arm extended is safer on the shoulder. So you want to do that to get started. Once you've done that, you're going to get yourself set. You're looking at your arm being about a 45 degree angle out from your body. Same with your leg. You're going to get up on your elbow. You want to really drive that elbow hard into the ground and you want to lead with your chest. As soon as you can, you want to start leading with your chest and pushing your chest forward to drive this movement. Watch your spacing there between your shoulder and your ear. You don't want that, the, the shoulder to hunch up as you do this. So once you get in this position here, you're going to come up on your hand. Now you want to make sure that you lock your elbow out. So drive your palm into the ground and lock your elbow out. And then if you think about turning your elbow, twist the point of your elbow in, feel your shoulder screw up into the socket, and that'll help get this position a little stronger and more secure. So after you've done this, you're gonna raise your hips up off of the ground. Make sure you drive your palm and your heel into the ground and raise those hips up. You're looking to try to get a straight line between your knee and your shoulder uh, eventually, you want to be able to come up to this position here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pull your knee in and roll it in underneath you. So in this position here, I've still got a lot of weight on my hand. So to transition out of this, what I'm going to do is sit my hips back towards my heel just a little bit. I can feel the weight come off of my hand. Now I can use my hips to bring me up out of that position right there. Then you're going to windshield wiper your leg around. Then you're going to push yourself up to a nice strong locked out overhead position. Biceps in line with the ear. The wrist is still straight. Got good shoulder spacing right there. That hasn't hunched up. And then you just reverse that on the way down. Step back. Windshield wiper the leg around. Push the hips over a little bit so you can get your hand on the ground and then transfer your weight over to that hand. Now you're gonna make sure you've got that elbow point twisted in, you got your shoulder screwed into the socket. You're gonna push that, the palm and your heel into the ground, extend the leg, drop the hips down to the ground, down to your elbow, make sure you haven't hunched, you wanna make sure you got good shoulder spacing between your ear, and then finally, down on the ground, two hands down, and over. So that is it right there. Just a couple little things that you can do to get a little bit more out of this exercise. Again, the devil's in the details. That's one of the things that makes the Turkish get up such a great exercise is you can do it for a long time and always have something that you can work on and do a little bit better. So uh, hope you've enjoyed this tip. It's given you something to uh, think about. Maybe you learned something new or remembered something that you had learn before on this exercise and you're going to start implementing it again. Uh, once again, it's been James Wilson with MTB Strength Training Systems. You can check me out on the web at bikejames.com. Hope you've enjoyed this training tip. I'll talk to you in my next one.